In this video, I'm going to show you the right way to set up a static IP address on a PS4. I'm also going to show you a critical step that many people are not even aware of. First, we are going to open up our network settings. From here, we'll click on View Connection Status. From this screen, you're going to want to either write down this information or take a picture of it for later. Now we are going to select Set Up Internet Connection. From here you will select whether you are using Wi-Fi or a LAN cable. For this example I will be using a LAN cable. From here we will choose Custom. For our IP address settings we will choose Manual. This is the screen where we will enter our IP address configuration. This right here is the most critical step. We need to choose an IP address that is outside of the DHCP range of our router. If we do not choose a IP address outside of this range, we will likely end up with future IP conflicts on our network. IP conflicts will lead to problems such as connection drops. In my case, the DHCP range of my router is from 192.168.1.100 to 192.168.1.200, so I'm going to choose an IP address outside of that range. If you are unsure what the DHCP range of your router is, simply look it up on Google or look in the instruction manual that came with your router. Now we are going to enter our subnet mask. Simply enter the subnet mask that you wrote down in a previous step. For most people, this will be 255.255.255.0, however yours may be different. Now we will enter the default gateway information that we wrote down from the previous step. Now we will enter our primary and secondary DNS information. From here you can enter the IP address of any DNS server of your choosing. For this example, I'm going to use Google's public DNS, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 .8. If you are unsure what to put in here, feel free to use 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 as it will work for most people worldwide. Now we will enter our secondary DNS server, which in this case is going to be 8.8.4.4. .4 .4. Now we will hit next to continue. For MTU settings we will choose automatic. We will choose to not use a proxy server. At this point we will test our internet connection to make sure that everything is working properly. Please note that the PS4 speed test is not accurate in any way. Take any results you get here with a grain of salt. From here the setup is now complete. If you got value out of this video, please consider dropping a like. 